Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a simple terracotta set with lines and dots. So if you see, I have laid out everything that is required to complete this particular piece. Uh, please go through the uh, description box below. I'll leave a link on how I made the pendant as well as the earrings. The paints uh, are all acrylic and the colors are grey, blue, green, yellow and white. The brush is a liner brush. I'm using a size 1 round tip soft bristle liner brush. Um, this is it and uh, what's unique about this particular pendant is that uh, there is not uh, a, I'm not going to be doing a base coat uh, I'm directly going in with the um, design or rather with the paints and highlighting the designs directly the border is going to be in a combination of grey and blue uh, it's a combination I personally adore and uh, I think it looks really nice there is a beautiful beautiful subtlety uh, to this color combination and you'll see why it looks really pretty uh, when it's complete uh, the only thing you have to be careful while uh, doing something like this is that you uh, do not want paint to spread or um, you know just you have to be really really careful while doing something like this uh, because removing paint from uh, something like this can be very difficult so if you see uh, I went in with a dark green curved line and then uh, a yellow color line and after this it's going to be a nice thin white line curved you can call this a curved line a zigzag line whatever there's something extremely calming about this entire process and uh, of course I did say that it's lines and dots uh, so here you go you have the dots over here we're almost at the end of this particular painting and you saw how easily we we're able to complete this simple beautiful the painting work is done it's time to varnish now that the paint is completely dried uh, we can apply a nice thin coat of varnish I'm using a soft bristle brush and applying a an even coat all over this typically just intensifies the color even more which I think is um, a plus for me and there you go time to assemble I'm using the core roughly 3 to 4 mm in, si in thickness these are wooden beads blue color wooden beads this is the um, the wooden bead that is used to adjust the length of the chain the earring hooks my pliers and I'm going to be using this particular bead please again do take a look at the description box below I'll leave a link on how I made the bead as well as painted it we begin by um, putting in the uh, earring hooks I assemble the uh, chain in this manner I knot it making sure the beads stay in place and they don't move and once the knot is firm I put in the uh, brown wooden bead behind this is typically to adjust the length of the uh, chain I mean, some of some of them might want to wear it long some of them might want to wear it short probably closer to the neck this typically is the toughest part for me at least uh, I know it's been it's been so long so many years of doing it and still I still find that um, quite cumbersome sometimes you've seen me do this uh, multiple times so I wouldn't be repeating this again and again so I've just increased the speed of the video over here again there are multiple ways on how you can end this either as a tassel or in this manner um, I mean there's a lot of videos um, on my channel that'll give you several ideas I'll just burn off the ends just making sure it's all sealed in well and there you go that's it a beautiful unique pendant is ready I really hope you all enjoyed watching the video please do let me know what you think of the video in the comments 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग